pole shoots. So maybe you want to do a pole shoot, but you're feeling a little bit intimidated because what are you supposed to do, right? Especially if you're a beginner, you might feel like, I don't have any moves, so what's the point? But that's not true. <laughs> you should definitely go ahead and book your pole photo shoot. There are plenty of things that you can do on and around the pole that will play to your natural strengths and ability. And, you know, things that just aren't too complicated but look really, really good. And so it'll be nice to have those pretty photos of you doing your favorite sport. It'll just be like a confidence booster. So we're going to talk about some of those. And also, first things first, if you're going to do a pole shoot, Show up early so that you have time to warm up. You want to stretch and things like that so that, you know, your body has full range of motion. You don't want to be really tight. So let's take it to the pole. I'm just going to start by the pole. Half moon shape is always good. Leaning away from the pole because it just looks sexy. So let's start with some upright things. If you're like me and you have long legs or even if you don't, it's always a good thing to pose with just your legs around the pole. So just play with standing on your toes that's always going to look better arching the back another good one is being behind the pole the pole splitting you in half and just grab the pole arch back that's always a cute one you can play with looking over the shoulder things like that just going to show you what it looks like from some other angles too also play with your legs, switching them around. You might think one looks better and then you try something and it looks a little bit different. Also play with dropping your arms and don't forget your photographer is gonna be moving around. So even if this angle doesn't look the best, your photographer will catch it. This one is really great. It requires some balance. So hold on, cross your legs, lean forward and walk your hands down. You're gonna keep one hand uh, in front of your boot and one hand in front of your kitty cat and make sure you create a window so you can look over one shoulder so you can play around like that and you can play around with hiding your face also and when you come up take your time so you don't lose your balance and feel dizzy another classic is just being in front of the pole and taking a bend and again come onto your toes it's going to look a lot prettier if you have a really flexible back, this is a good one. Just stand in front of the pole, lean back. It's going to be a cute one. If you're on your toes, it looks even better. These shoes are black, so it's hard to see, but definitely being on your toes all the time looks good. Another one, if your back is really bendy, you're just going to arch back, bring your hip in front of the pole, and then arch back. And anywhere along this bend would be a good photo, but especially once you get down to the ground, you can play with where that bottom arm is. And then you can also whoop, come into a straddle. Again, extend through your legs. So point through your toes. You just want your toes on the ground. And you can play where that bottom arm is and your gaze and where you're looking and your hand placement. Next, I'm just going to come on out of that, but another one, a little split. Just trying not to kick my little doggy in the chair so that back leg isn't straight. But you want to look for the heel of that extended back leg to make sure that leg is straight. And straighten, straighten, straighten. Last one, if your back is bendy, you're just going to arch, kick your heels to your head. Sitting on the heels is always cute. You can play with the angle, but that always looks really nice. Lunges are another good one. You want to come onto that front toe and extend through the back and you can play with where your your torso is. Leaning forward, leaning back, looking down, looking up. And if you're bendy, you can kick that heel to your butt and arch back. That always looks good. But play with your lunges, switch sides, switch your stance. This is another popular stance. You want to rotate the foot out so that you're on your toe and the heel is facing the camera. And play with your body position. Another good one, pull between the legs. You wanna push into that arm that's on the floor and arch. And you can take another straddle. Straddles are always good. Speaking of straddles, if you can invert, this is a really good invert that always looks cute. It's pretty basic, pretty standard, pretty easy. That one's always pretty. I hope you learned something from 
the tips and tricks for the pole photo shoot. If you have some other poses that you like or that you've done, of course, you can tag me on my socials or drop down a link right below. Something that's just, you know, easy breezy, but very, ah, so cute. Um, I hope you learned something and I'll see you for the next one.